Hi, it's Dave at All Important Reviews and I've got with me today, well first of all please click the subscribe button, I'm going to be pumping out loads of watch content. I've decided I am going to focus on watches because that is a passion of mine or a hobby uh, instead of just doing general technology and gaming which I also uh, really love. Um, but I, I wasn't posting as much recently because um, I'm, I'm basically learning a new skill because I want to become location independent and be able to live in any country in the world and move from Britain over the next few years uh, and earn money online. And I'm not doing this because I want to earn money online. But my other skill that I'm learning will enable me to do that. So I'm spending a lot of time uh, learning um, about this new avenue um, so that one day hopefully I, I can work from anywhere in the world from a laptop and earn money because I, I want to leave Britain but that's a story for another video and today I've got with me the G-Shock Casio G-Shock um, GST B100 1AER which just means it's in Europe this is a European model um, this is it's a spec monster watch uh, but it's not a cheap watch, although it depends where you get it from. But you, I've seen it posted for above £300 on some sites. And I've seen it posted on some sites for around £200. Unless, if you can get a good one, if you can get a, you know the right deal. Um, I'm not actually sure if they still produce this exact model. I know they do the same unit and same module but with different colours. I don't know if the Casio still make this model because this has been out now for a few years. But I, I've had this watch for over a year. Um, it's a G-Shock, so it's incredibly tough. Uh, they test it, they put it through all kinds of crazy stress tests. 200 meter water resist, rubber band. It's got a Casio rubber band and Casio, in my honest opinion, they do the best rubber bands. It won't have a sapphire crystal, it'll just be a mineral crystal, but that's completely fine with me. Um, you've got a light function, uh, you've got Bluetooth connectivity with various modes and all this other stuff that I very rarely use. Bluetooth I do use sometimes to sync the time. Um, unfortunately, oh it's Tough Solar as well. Tough Solar is a fantastic feature. It means basically that there is a battery in here, but it'll last around 10 years because it charges from the sunlight and from um, fluorescent light. It doesn't have to be real sunlight for it to charge. All my Tough Solar watches, and I have probably about 10 or 15, all of them are on high and none of them I have to, you know, actively try and charge. They all have the, the high from limited light. So... Although I have seen reviews on some people online where they said that mine's not charging right, mine, etc. If you leave it on a windowsill in the light for a few days, it will get high. I can assure you of that. Unless there's an issue with your watch. Uh, and if it is, obviously get it checked out by Casio. Um, it's a sports model. It's obviously not a dressy watch. It's a very sports model. You've got the high contrast between the stainless and the band the size it's a big watch it is a very big watch and that is going to be one of its criticisms so the size i think is about 48 mil yeah it's about it's about 48 millimeters diameter um thickness is about 14 14 and a half nearly so it's a thick watch and it's a bulky watch. There's a massive case. It runs the module of 5513. Tough Solar, as I just mentioned, which I'm a big fan of. Um, I love the stainless steel bezel. I'm a big fan of stainless steel bezels anyway. I think they're tough. Um, you know, they look good. They're durable. And they don't particularly scratch that easily although ceramic is better um, and i actually prefer the casio ones that have a pattern on them because they're even less likely to scratch from my experience but i'm happy with the bezel think it looks fine um 
The functionality and the modes and all that, I very, very rarely use. The only thing that I wish the watch did have is multiband, which is for anyone who doesn't know, Casio are one of the one of the only manufacturers in the world, along with Citizen. I believe Seiko might have one as well. And um, that offer a radio control time. So if you live in one of the radio control you know, multiband areas like Britain, I think it's Britain, Germany, China, Japan, America. I can't remember where the, obviously, I can't remember where the other one is. But I think there's only six countries in the world that have this, that have radio control times that you can sync to, basically. Clocks that you can sync to, sorry. And Britain's is in Anthem. And um, so what that means is, is that if I had a multiband watch, it synchronizes multiple times per day with the, the radio control time. So I get perfect time. Now on this watch, unfortunately does not have that. However, it has the Bluetooth functionality. So if you connect it to the phone, it will, um, it will give you synchronized phone time but i ne i i only do that once a month to to let it resync because because um i don't want to run bluetooth on my phone because it burns the battery quicker so i never turn bluetooth on or very rarely so that is why i'm not a big fan i mean there's other functions and stuff you can do i believe when you connect it to this app but i would never use those functions because you know the only thing i need it for is the date and time i very yes when i used to run significantly i used to use the stop the stopwatch and pedometer but i don't think this has a pedometer but on the watches that i had that i used to use that feature but at the minute i don't really require that so i would very rarely use that the alarm i use on my phone so again i don't use the alarm now and and when i'm in a different country i just change the time because when i got at the country that i mainly go to is thailand uh, because I love that country so much. Um, and they don't have radio control time there. So it can't sync to that. But I can use a tough solar. So I never have to change the battery. Or I have to do in say 7 to 10 years. Something like that. Which is a massive positive. But the watch should have multiband. It's a crime that the watch does not have it. Casio have the technology. They put it in some of their watches. They've just chosen not to put it in this one, and that is wrong. They should have put it in this in this model. The band is comfortable. It's quite. It's it's a very supple band, uh, rubber band. Now some of the other ones, uh, some of the other resin bands that Casio do um, are tougher around here. Now I actually prefer it, believe it or not, when the watch band is 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 kind of pre-shaped is stiffened if you will around here with these with a support so that when it goes on the wrist it kind of sits a bit like like that so that it, it's curved a bit around the hand and this part does not significantly touch the hand i like that on the casio oh, sorry the wrist on the other casio bands uh, like one i've got here one second i'm just trying to find it on See, on this, this model, see how the band is very, very tough. It's almost like hard plastic around the side. But this part is supple. So when you put it on the wrist, it fits really good. But on these bands, these are a lot softer and they do not have this support as much around, the, around where the, it would touch the sides of the wrist. And I don't like that. I, I would prefer it if it had that feature. So I'm going to say that is a downside, unfortunately, but other people might not care and they may, may, they may just think that this is better. So the other criticism that I'm, I'm unfortunately going to have to give the watch, I'm just going to put it on my, on my wrist, one second. The other criticism is that it is very, very bulky. And as an everyday wear, it can become a little bit sweaty and uncomfortable because it is so big. I mean, yeah, the band is comfortable. It is comfortable. Um, but it's such a big watch that, you know, it's not that I'm bothered about wearing big watches because I've worn them for years before I got into kind of, you know, 
stainless steel bracelet watches. I used to wear these types of watches all the time. But um, it's a big watch. There is no question about it. But all, overall, I would say this is a good sports watch. I mean, it's a shame it doesn't have the multiband, but it's got the tough solar, 200 meter water resist. It looks good, although it looks very sporty. But it does look okay. The band is, again, okay. It's not amazing, but it is okay. You could change it if you want with some adapters off J's and K's. You can change it for a NATO if that's your type of thing. I would never do that. You can actually get a bracelet for this watch, and the bracelet is very good. And I'm going to review another watch that has the bracelet on as well um, that's very similar. But overall, very. I'm, I'm quite happy with this watch. Only issue is it's a little bit too bulky. I think if they took a couple of millimetres or three millimetres off the overall size, it would be even better. Uh, and the other thing I would say is, is that I would prefer it if the indices were fully loomed. The indices are not loomed enough, in my honest opinion. But overall, decent attempt. Um, it, you can sometimes get it for around 200 quid, this watch. And I would say that's the max I would pay for it. I wouldn't pay 300 quid for it, which some of them are charging new. Okay, please subscribe to my channel. It's been Dave, All Important Reviews. Thanks a lot.